Dear colleagues, today I'm going to present my PhD plan. This research work is being carried out within the University of Salamanca PhD program on education in the knowledge society, with the mentoring and supervision of Francisco José García Piñal. The title is a methodological guide for the successful use of digital technologies in education, improvement of learning through European educational projects. The main objectives and goals of this research are examining depth the potential of learning and digital technologies in education through the European projects of the Erasmus Plus program in the 2014-22 cycle and analyze those considered as good practices or success stories. As a result, how to get the most out of digital technologies for the future and to be able to extrapolate the success factors identified to other projects, generating a guide or model of action that allows the design of projects that take advantage of the maximum potential of technology and have a real impact on the improvement of teaching and learning processes. In the end, we look at the improvement in learning. In order to achieve those goals, the research methodology will combine quantitative and qualitative analysis following the guidelines for systematic research projects reviews, a method described by Alicia García Orgado, Samuel Marcos Pablos and Francisco José García Peñalbo in four steps. It's a definition that in this case will consist in studying Erasmus Plus projects based on e-learning and ICT, the screen of projects taking into consideration some mapping questions of interest that will be decided within the research, the project selection and sample based on those mapping questions, and finally the analysis, in which a quantitative analysis will be carried out first based on a survey, and then a qualitative analysis through interviews. Of course, before all this process, I've made a review of the state of the art in order to see the relevance of the chosen topic. What are the preliminary results? Well, the 7% of Erasmus Plus projects are related to e-learning, of which uh, the 11% have been labeled as good practice or success story. We have mm, almost uh, 9,000 projects, so um, um, I think that is enough to, to uh, have an idea of, uh, of the projects related to e-learning. Spanish educational institutions are the second most active in this type of projects and have achieved the greatest number of good practice projects or success stories at the time of this presentation, which is very important for this research. The Erasmus Plus actions with the highest numbers of projects related to learning are Key Action 1 and Key Action 2, highlighting all those in the school sector, that is the main field for looking for improvement in, in education, in learning. The two main topics in which uh, are focused on most plus projects related to learning are new innovative curricula and ICT. And in addition to the projects links to learning, we can observe projects associated to other related methodologies such as mobile learning, blended learning, ubiquitous learning, etc. All these findings make the objectives of this investigation of real interest. In summary, the main milestones for the research are first a review of the literature and competition of information on the projects of the Erasmus Plus Results platform, then a quantitative research followed by a qualitative research, and a memory of the PhD. Well, I want to finish sharing with you the current contributions. Presently, the selection process of projects for sampling is underway. 
Once the selection of the sample is closed, the contact details of the project coordinators will be collected in order to contact them for the subsequent stages for the survey and or interview. At the same time, it will be necessary to review the project summaries as well as their outcomes to get all the information of interest. In the end, the idea is to be able to provide the final results and the guide in 2022. Um, here are my contact details. This is all for now. Thank you very much for your attention.